We're touching on real estate this morning, both the latest developments in the market and the spring market here in the DMV. Right now we have Brian Coaster, the CEO of Real Estate Connection, joining us this morning to talk a little bit about the market right now. Thank you for joining us Thank again. You. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Yes, good morning. So we want to talk about the National Association of Realtors, and you know how they recently reached a settlement and uh, that will impact the standard 6% commission for uh, those sellers or, or the, the agents. Uh, tell me a little bit about that and how that changes the game. Yeah, so the real estate market is generally an, an implied marketplace where the transactions between sellers and buyers have been negotiated through what has just been traditionally done, right? So what the NAR did, and I, can, I give them, you know, props for this is they put a blanket settlement that establishes the framework for how buyers and sellers are going to interact nationally. So what that means for buyers and sellers is just more transparency, more disclosures, and the ability to negotiate with their agents a little more. Overall, it was a good move that's going to help increase transparency to buyers and sellers mm -hmm. so that they know that they can negotiate the real estate fees that they traditionally were just implied. Okay. Okay. So. Um so it's not going to be tough for anyone per se. It's going to be bad. It's going to be an adjustment, okay. right? So okay. the same way that you know new regulations come out and there's mm -hmm. disclosures, this is a consumer protection mm -hmm. adjustment that was made okay. as a result of some legacy issues across the country. Okay. Uh, overall, I would say if I was a buyer or seller, it's going to enable me to interact with the marketplace a little smoother. Okay. And I'll have more transparency as to what fees I'm charged, what options I have, as well as if I'm selling my house, what's available in the marketplace. Okay. So overall, good. Perfect. Transparency is key in this market, as you know. Uh, what trends are you seeing in the DMV housing market, especially this season? So I always joke with people is Amazon is coming, right? <laughs> so Amazon.com put their second headquarters here. Uh -huh. They've got 250,000 high qualified people relocating to this area that are working for Microsoft and Google and yes. all those. Uh, this area has been always supported by the government. You have never really had any big tech money. Over the next 10 years, you're gonna see big tech money come to this area and this whole area is gonna change. A great example is that, is I used to sell acreage in Herndon, Virginia for about $10,000, $15,000 an acre. Mm -hmm. Acreages in Herndon, Microsoft just bought 10 acres for 21 million. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you're talking well over a million dollars an acre. That's gonna go out all the way to Winchester. That's gonna go all the way down to Stafford. That's gonna go all the way up to Frederick and all the way out to Annapolis. This area over the next 10 years is gonna be big. Okay, all right, so we got 15 seconds. And quickly, can you uh, just tell us, give us some tips about maybe if we wanna sell our house or buy our house right now? Um, get a good professional, right? It makes a big difference. So generally speaking, if you just sold your house yourself, you would be able to do it. If you got a good professional who knew what they were doing, you'd get three to eight percent more, okay. right? So generally speaking, the professionals, uh, whether that's real estate, mortgage, title, they know the nuances of the business, they negotiate better. It really does make a big difference. Okay, all right, well, you, thank you. You know best, you've been in the industry for many, many years. Uh, Brian Coaster, CEO of Real Estate Connection, thank you so much thank for you. joining us. Absolutely. That's great information.